Steve and Shulk. I feel like the blocks at the ledge that we always see from Biggie will probably be a problem recovering with that up B. Mm -hmm. Shulk doesn't have like a ton of recovery options. Yeah. Now, I didn't get to watch the whole set last time they played, but I did walk over because obviously I saw a big crowd. And I saw it was game five and Chad was Ken at that point. So I don't know. Maybe he started the last set Shulk and then ended up on Ken. Or maybe he like realized Ken didn't work out and wants to go Shulk instead now. But either way, this is not... The matchup I saw at game five when Biggie took it. Mm. Yeah. I feel like Biggie's ledge trapping is just really, really strong. And I mm -hmm. think that Shulk would struggle against that. Whereas Ken would have, like, the ability to use the, the Tatsu and also the up B. Yeah. It's interesting, though. Obviously, I haven't really seen this matchup play out either. But when you hear people talk about Steve's bad matchups, a lot of the times the two characters you hear them say are Cloud and Sephiroth, right? which those are the big sword characters. And it's like, mm -hmm. Shulk has a big sword too, but you don't really hear his name thrown around in that. I don't know if it's just because Shulk's not as common or if maybe he actually does not beat Steve, but, you know, we'll see how it plays out. Ooh. Oh, my God. That was wild. That was crazy and definitely unteckable too. I think Shield Art ran out or else it wouldn't have been unteckable. Oh, is he just going to die again? Johnny. That's so scary. Yeah, Biggie's crazy. Another minecart. He'll take that trade for sure. And Diamond is online here in a minute, too. <laughs> Goes into Shield, but I feel like Shield might not even escape him from the jab combo. See, it just puts them back online at this point. Yeah. That's crazy. He's racked up so much percent. Uh, look at that mix ah. with sending the side B backwards like that. It reminds me of when he used to play Simon and send the cross backwards and yeah. wait for it to turn back around. I miss those days. Oh, he just... Did he duck under that, or did it, like, that outspacing was crazy. Yeah, I'm not sure, because it doesn't really look like he ducks much when he F-smashes. Okay, this is such a big lead for Biggie right now, though. He's up three stocks to one. Mm, going to stand into the up smash, though. Chad likes to go for that option a lot. Uh, just be a little bit more patient in the ledge and wait for the get-up attack, right? That minecart's going to be really scary yeah. as well, it's especially if he's trapped in it. While he's mashing out, he's going to have enough time to set up that ledge trap with the blocks, mm -hmm. and by then it might be too late. And Biggie hasn't really had a chance to pull out this diamond yet. I feel like he's had it online for quite some time, and of course, Shad's on his last stock right now, so there's no reason to save it for anything. I think he's genuinely just like waiting for a second to get the diamond out, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Got to take an opportunity to get Shad off stage or something. You know, but so far it seems like he's just content to keep scrapping without Diamond. Maybe he'll go for it now. No, he just decides to keep putting the pressure on. Oh, that was so good. F throw. Off stage. Doesn't that send shield, you very far. Yeah, very helpful shield there. F throw once again probably. Waits it out. Oh, actually up throw kills. Okay. You, yeah. learn, you learn something new every day. Good pummel on that. Um, like waiting out the, the smash art. Yeah. Biggie... Uh, fairly handedly taking game one. So, does Shad switch? I think probably. I hope so. I'm such a big Shad Wolf fan. What is it with you and the Wolf? I want to see the show does. Oh, no, he's back hovering over Shulk. Just going to try and make a few adjustments. Uh, probably not get edge guarded as hard if he can avoid it. Um, wow, Biggie really had that diamond the whole game and didn't use it. Didn't need it. That's Chad behavior. He's yeah. Like, I can win without one of Steve's strongest options. Let's see. He's counterpicking skins. He's going Fiora. Mm. I hope it works out for him. I think this is the best one. Leaving Serena Williams in game one? Or did he even use her in game one? Uh oh. <laughs> no, he used the. Mom, so we just Man lost. One. Oh, there we go. The black one with the purple eyes. Okay. Hmm? What? Piranha plant? He's moving around. You have the Shad Piranha plant? Oh, wait. <gasps> Let's go! Yay! All right, Steve versus Wolf. I bet Biggie just builds a wall so Reflector. he doesn't get lasered. <laughs> Reflector, though. What, for the Minecraft? Yeah. Well, a lot of the time, if you can react to Minecart, you can already avoid it via other means, right? Yeah, but if he reflects it, then... He has to get back in the minecart. Mm -hmm. A big part of the matchup is actually standing at a. Oh my god, god. You have to SDI out. Oh. 
Okay, well, that was fun. Fun little 42. But yeah, if you want to punish Minecart, you actually have to stand at a distance where it's reactable, right? Because if you're too close, he can do it, and you're not going to have time to react. Yeah. So we'll see if Shad's able to space himself a little bit more carefully to take advantage of that. Because um, if he's looking for the reflector, he's going to have to be at that distance no matter what, right? If you're up yeah. close, you're not going to be able to react with the counter no matter what. Um, does not have a lead yet, though. This counter pick uh, looking about the same as how game one took place so far. Johnny just mining, uh, setting up. What is, look, it's just literally sitting there. That was so weird. Yeah. I think having the projectile will be helpful, though, because he can't just sit there and mine. Like, mm -hmm. when he's Shulk, he has to go in to stop that, whereas when he's Wolf, he can sit there and blast her over well, and over again. If Steve just builds a 1-2-3 wall, you know, like a 1-by-3 vertical yeah. wall, though, that will stop laser, and he can just mine to his heart's content. But Johnny not Ooh. electing to do that. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, I think he just takes the the materials while he can get them, you know? Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, he still doesn't really have a shortage or anything. Still looking for that diamond. But like we said last game, he didn't even use it. He has not really visited the crafting table this game either. Yeah. What happens if you break the crafting table? Do you uh, know? It just pops back down. You know how Inkling, like, charges their ink with shield plus B? Yeah. If you shield plus B, it just drops in your crafting table. Okay. Okay, tech chase here. Yep, gets the read. Goes Rather than going for a vertical combo, he was trying to put Shad in an offstage situation, which I respect because obviously mm -hmm. Wolf is very vulnerable out there. Finally gets the craft off. Okay. Searching for some big reads right now, Biggie. Okay, riding on in in style. Yep. I haven't seen any queso cancels yet. I'm a little upset yeah. by that. Hopefully that oh, fixes it before scary. the end of the set. I'm feeling a Steve up smash come around soon. Chad's been spending a lot of time way above Steve. And I'm just feeling an up smash. Hmm. Landing wolf back here going to take it. Chad has a lead right now. Not a super strong one, but a lead nonetheless. Okay. Ooh, okay. Offstage situation here. Clipped him out once. Okay, Chad looking for Biggie to go high. Biggie did not go high. Landing with that Nair is such a good option. Mm -hmm. It's like Steve does have disjoints, but his moves aren't super active, so it's going to be hard to time that, right? Mm -hmm. Ooh. And just going yes, for the back air. Was that out of minecart there? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Good read on Shad there, then, just predicting big path. Yeah, he did that with two stocks. He did it with the first one as well, catching both mm -hmm. of the mine carts off stage with back air. So went back to Smashville for game, or er, I mean Stadium for game two. But where is Biggie going to counter pick us to, or is he just going to return to Stadium as well? Hmm. FD, that makes sense. Yeah, that does make sense. That could be scary at the ledge. Mm -hmm. So now Biggie's just going to try to put Wolf in more offstage scenarios, right? Take advantage of that bad recovery. Mm -hmm. Take advantage of down tilt and how you can just drop it off the ledge and how active it is. Wow, it's interesting. Hmm. Is Steve just better Belmont? Because you remember you can space Holy Water to where it falls off oh the edge, yeah. like the down tilt, and then the way he's using uh, Minecart to like come back at you, like how you used to use Cross. Hmm. It weirdly, in some ways, Biggie is playing Steve like Simon. <laughs> yeah, it's very funny because I don't think there's a more Biggie character. Oh than my Steve. god! But he's dead though. Yeah, that back air so strong. That was criminally early. I don't think that Biggie's DI was quite there, no. but understandable because if he was ready to get hit by that, he would have probably done something else instead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it does not look like Biggie's found out an answer for this falling nair. Mm -hmm. Even parrying there and didn't get a punish, so. I'm telling you, he's just going to up smash it soon. Uh-oh. Ah. Get spiked. Not a full conversion there. Oh, I, that <laughs> had to be a misinput. <laughs> unless Shad is just full and What a legend. He said, oh. I love that. I really like when people, like, drop combos to, to taunt. It had to be a misinput. 
Yeah, there's no way. Shut's not like that. Ooh, oh, okay. strong. Okay. So let her jump. Rather than going for the edge guard there, he elects to craft an iron sword, I believe. Sets up a new ledge trap here with TNT, though. That is scary. What the hell is going on? Okay, well, that did not work out for Johnny. He <laughs> okay, he's alive. He has a better he, mash than I. I think he might have no iron, though. It looks like he just went for an anvil and it didn't spawn. So if he wants to minecart, I don't think he can. Lots of rage here. Ah, but up throw, throw again? Yeah. yeah. Like, goes for the mining. Yeah, I got to replenish that iron supply. And a diamond is online. The comeback mechanic, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Or is that gold? Uh, well, diamond is online. Like, he can get diamond, but gold is in his hand. Okay. But there's a diamond in his inventory. I need Biggie That's to yeah, learn the ladders, like the block, up air, block, up air, mm -hmm. up smash, you know? He can learn them as long as he doesn't play against me. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, this started out really strong for Shad, and now who's in the lead? Yeah, I mean, that the gold, I know that it does differences to their frame data as well. Loses his gold sword right there, though, back to just the original. Um, but that's okay, because I'm sure he doesn't mind to replace it with diamond, right? Yeah. Oh, th what the hell kind of option was that? He just got out of the corner with up B. Okay, he's going to come down and use this invincibility to immediately pull his diamond sword. There it is. And now you're at kill percent. Ooh. Now you're really at kill percent. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, that's scary, too, with the hitbox, like, sitting on top of that block as soon as it breaks, it still falls. Yeah. Uh-oh. Ah, that back air, I don't know if it would have killed, but it is very me. Uh -oh, get away from the explosion. Yeah, I would simply just not interact. <laughs> Ooh. This is crazy because it looked like it was super in Chad's favor. And now Biggie's just doing a really good yeah. job of just racking up percent and not getting hit. He's doing a good job of playing passively for sure. Mm -hmm. The minecart seems to be the biggest issue right now. He's catching yeah. a lot of jumps, and I think that has a lot to do with and the stage. The freaking command grab aspect of it, too. How it's mm -hmm. like you can't be locked in shield. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, Ooh. not a back air. Uh, oh, this is scary. Biggie, be careful le recovering. Shad's advantage at this ledge is just yeah. so good, though. Shad was looking for Biggie to, like, make fast panic options there, mm -hmm. and Biggie did a great job of just staying steady and taking his time, you know. Nice. Back air going to kill for sure. Yeah. Up 2-1 is Biggie, looking like a repeat of last time, right? Yeah, if we see a game five for sure. But I, I like the switch to Wolf. I think that was a very good decision. I think it's working out very well for him. Yeah, it looks a lot cleaner than the Schult game we started with. Shad's Wolf is very legit. I mean, he's been off and on pulling out Wolf since the beginning of Smash Ultimate. Mm -hmm. Definitely had a big Wolf phase, and then he kind of dropped them to refocus on like the Shotos and Shulk. And then in this new, like, job era, the wolf makes more appearances again, which I'm here He's for. easy. <laughs> you don't have to practice all this crazy tech. I mean, tech. I, did, I didn't say that. I, I think, did. I think Shag can still pull off the crazy tech, but his fundies are just so solid that yeah. wolf is such a good pocket character to have. That's what I mean when he's Wait, easy. Wait, is he switching like back? Okay, <laughs> I saw Shulk for one yeah. second. Uh, I don't think he knows. Go Joker. Okay, he knows he's definitely not playing a show, though. Yeah. Or the Terry. Does he have a Terry? I've never seen him play Terry. I'm honestly surprised Shad never picked up Kazuya for real. For yeah. Real. I feel like this this Shad Kazuya would be a problem. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Would not like that. I could definitely see him being the type of person that hits you with, like, the stupid combos where you're frozen and, like, sticks the of fist course. out first. Oh, he would electric wing god fist, god fist you and just the f he'd be at zero and he'd still stick out the fist. Like yeah. do, do the combo with his left hand, GG with his right hand. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he tried to do it. Chad, if you rewatch this VOD, pick up Kazuya, please. Here we go. Jab, jab, jab. Ah, uh, Biggie kind of turned around and did a back air there instead of the forward air I assume he wanted. Maybe I don't know why he's so insistent on hitting this down air. Maybe a weird controller thing. Mm. This is these angles with up B, the schmix is crazy. Yeah. Jab fair, up air, back air, mm, that, that was, was hot. That was really good. Okay. Uh-oh. 
tries to box him out with the blocks there to keep him from recovering, but Shad able to navigate his way back on the stage. Ooh, Sets up another TNT scenario, but is the one that takes damage from it. Great avoidance of the Wolf down smash, but Shad's still going to send him back off stage with an F tilt. Mm, looking for an up smash. Biggie not going to give it to him. What are you? Oh, that edge the cancel? cancel? I didn't even know he could do that. Yeah, that wasn't a queso cancel, but it was an edge cancel. Yeah, and that's some crazy Ooh, trick, too. Oh, excellent conversion. Great timing right there. Just like you're going to pop out of mine car now and gets the back air perfectly. Yeah, I see a lot of Steves do that, especially with up smash, too, mm -hmm. where they know exactly when you're about to pop out and just pop the up smash up. Uh, Shad is hitting so many of these F tilts off to the side, and he knew that Biggie was tired of getting F tilted and was going to roll on. Yeah, good stuff from Shad. Uh, this is so tough, though. Is he SDIing? Uh oh, he buffered air dodge though. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. You hate to see that it. That was just a terrible sequence of events. Got stage spiked and then buffered directional air dodge afterwards. Like he may have been able to live if he didn't do that air dodge. Mm -hmm. But now you're down a whole stock against a Steve that's sitting on a, a diamond that he might not even need to use because he might just kill you here. Mm. Usually I see the Steves just immediately go into the fair. So it's interesting that he went for the down tilt instead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not fair. Not going to be safe on shield. Ooh, good read. Yeah. Did not quite kill, though, although that would have put Shad in a very good position if it did to come back on this game. A lot of shield pressure with that and Yeah, very scary. Uh-oh. Shad trying to pick up the pace here. He knows it's now or never. Yeah, and Shad's just really good at playing fast as well. He mm -hmm. might be able to outrun Biggie. But Johnny is doing some crazy stuff with yeah. his upbeats. Like, leave it to Biggie to be the guy to just mess around with upbeat like that. Oh, the pressure again. I think that might even have poked. Yeah. Okay. What are you doing? Oh, that yeah, actually, that like would have comboed into up smash, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's looking for the roll, but he doesn't even need to. Like, up is a better option. Uh, uh, that has that wow. Hitbox on it. Yeah, he's doing such a great job, too, of avoiding, like, the two frame options, you know? Who oh, does that? Wow. Shad, Shad said you're, you're going to jump. But yeah, Biggie avoiding all the two frame options of F tilt and down smash just by like slightly wiggling his up B a little bit before he does it right. And now Diamond is online. Shad in a terrible position, gonna get back aired. And 3-1 yeah. Biggie's favor. So Very Shad. unfortunate to see that SD. Yeah, Biggie now up 2-0 on uh, Shad with Steve though. Mm -hmm. You know, the return of Biggie PR era is looking. Honestly, yeah. Uh, now.